Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here, Jaws Podiatry, very interesting case. Um, we have a, a young patient. <laughs> we have a young patient who has presented uh, to our office with an extremely, extremely large and painful corn underneath the, uh, the gray toe. Uh, the patient has been battling this corn for about two years in duration. Um, many, many moons ago, the patient had a previous surgery uh, a long, long time ago. I think that um, you know, uh, throughout the years, it has um, it has gotten worse to the what I like to call it, as everyone knows, the tipping point. Um, let let let's take a look here. Okay, let's come around right here. Okay, so what we have here is a really really large. Um, Zoom in a little bit here. So what we're going to go ahead and do very carefully here is, and I'm going to be very gentle because she, the patient already told me that. You see, it's it's very sensitive. Um, the patient has been seeing another another doctor, and you know when we look at a when we look at a, a lesion and relajate un poquitico. Right. Um, when we when we see a lesion as such, and I'm gonna go and I'll explain to you everyone. Um, this is a structural biomechanical issue, right? The patient has a significant amount of fat pad atrophy. Look at all this. These are all the bones, and we're going very very slow, very slow because we know it's really uncomfortable. You see, once you get through the top portion, the skin underneath is really soft. So you, you know, you kind of get a better feel on how, how, how deep we can actually go. Um, like I, I've said it before, I don't like to go too, too deep because if you go too deep, the blood is coming out. That and, <laughs> And it could be also just uncomfortable, right? So, and and, and what's incredible, I can feel, and, you know, and again, I don't want to ruin the surprise of the, of the reason why, right? This is this is a monster. I mean, you know, one thing is to have a little seeded corn here, one here, but look at the, this is like a centimeter by a centimeter. Right, we just kind of just you can actually tell this is the area where she's putting a lot of the pressure right here. We'll take a little bit more from here and we'll leave a little a little piece here just so that'll cushion the area. Okay, we'll stop here. Okay. The gray toe, a foot, underneath a foot, the gray toe, we have two little bones right here, maybe from the side view, right here. They're called the sesamoid bones, we have two. We need them to walk. Let's go to the whitey board. Top view, from the top, one, two. The toe's over here. One sesamoid, the other sesamoid. Tibial, fibular sesamoid. Side view. First metatarsal. Now we're looking at the toe from the side. The problem that we have here is very simple. Not this sesamoid. This sesamoid. Okay? This is normal. Her sesamoid the fit is tilted down for whatever reason. It's tilted down. In the last, she's been battling this now for two years, which means that in the last two years, the, the sesamoid has done this for whatever reason. Um, she went to see another physician. They recommended they remove the bone. Now, Removing the bone, there's pros and cons. There's, uh, in my personal opinion, there's more cons and pros that can lead to other 
problems of the toe. So my recommendation is, you know, is using our minimally invasive techniques. This is the this is the sesamoid, right? It's tilted. It's usually here. Is to and this is obviously the this is the lesion, right? So what we want to do is make a one little a one tiny tiny one little stitch incision here. We go in there and we shave a portion. of that sesamoid. Once we remove the structural problem, which is the bone, which is, you know, which was before tilted, the lesion poof disappears. Aside from the fact that she does have, again, like I said before, a, uh, an element of significant fat pad atrophy, just like I was telling the patient, if we can, you know, how do we define success? I'm not, uh, I'm not in the business of telling the patient this is going to be 100% better. If we can uh, define it as 60, 70, 80, 90% better, that's how we define success. The patient will be very, very happy. These minimally invasive techniques have changed a lot of, uh, in the world of what we do, uh, have changed uh, our, our approach um, tremendously. The Band-Aid, what I just did, remove the callus, you know, nucleate. This is more of a callus, not just a seeded corn. Patient tells me every two weeks, it's back. It's affecting her daily life activities. We're here to, yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. I cannot walk, I cannot do anything, I cannot go to the beach. You cannot go to the beach. I cannot stand have... in the sand. Exactly. Not even in the sand, so that gives you an idea of even How in the sand. The pain is awful. The pain is awful. So we're here to help. Another Mephis case. Minimally invasive foot and ankle surgery case. That's a good case. Like always, www.jawspodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojan, Jaws Podiatry, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. What a way to start the the Monday morning. Have a wonderful day.